Hold your breath. So here we have all the brushes. So here is a body brush, dandy brush, main comb, magic brush, hoof pick, curry comb, face brush. So here are the three main brushes that you use to remove mud or harder dirt. Um, so the magic brush is a good one you can use all over the body, it's not rough. The curry comb is a good one for massaging and removing dirt. And the dandy brush is good for brushing tails and getting off parts of dirt that's on softer spots of the So we'll start with the magic brush, start up at the neck and brush down along her body. finish using the magic brush the horse may look a bit dirtier but it's just because it's brought all the, the dirt and the dandruff and stuff to the surface so the horse will look dirtier but we'll go over now with the body brush to remove all of that and make them shine brush her tail so I like to use the dandy brush because it doesn't pull as much of her tail hair out so start at the top and you can brush these little parts out here and then we'll grab from the bottom and remember to stand next to the horse in case if they kick you you can just grab little parts of the hair and just brush them Got all the main knots out of it. I can use this main brush to try and get all these little ones here that won't come out with my fingers brushing through them. Okay, so now we'll brush her mane out. So we'll use this main brush. Brush your way down. And brush the forelock out. So now we're going to use the face brush. So this is just a nice soft one um, that you can use over their face. So start at the top. And you can rub it in circles to give them a massage as well. So here we have the two different types of hoof picks. This one has a brush so you can brush out the frog or this one is a good strong one for getting out rocks and stuff. I'm going to use this one today. So we're going to go down the leg and then inside here there's a um, chestnut on their leg which you can squeeze and it helps to lift their foot up. So I'm going to squeeze that and lean on her and then we're going to clean her foot out. So you'd go, this here is the frog. So you don't want to dig on that. So here I can lightly run my hoof pick over it and it's not going to hurt her because it, I'm only very lightly doing it. And then we'll go down inside next to the frog and pull all the dirt out. Now we're going to do the back foot. So it's quite the same just got to hold it a bit differently so you slide your hand down and then you can hold it under here um, and then yes yeah, scrape down and get all the dirt out and so they have a frog in the back feet as well Not done.
clean and oil her hooves. So here I've just got a hoof pick with a brush and some water. So you can just put that in the water and then scrub the mud off. Okay, now that they're all clean, we're going to oil them. So here I've got some vegetable oil. You can use any oil that you want and a hoof pick with a brush on it, which you can use to rub it on. You can also use a paintbrush or something similar. Put your foot up and then put some oil on the brush and rub it into a hoof. And with the hoof being clean now, it'll help the oil to stick better. Now we'll go around the outside of the hoof. Put the oil on the outside of the hoof wall and it keeps their hooves nice and soft. So it's easier for them to be tripped. Now we have a nice, clean, dirt free horse. I'm gonna show you how to worm a horse. So I'm not gonna actually worm her because she doesn't need doing, but I'll still show you what I do. So if you come from the right side of the horse and you have them restrained, so a halter on them or someone else holding them, and you put the wormer into the side of their mouth and push it all the way up to the back of their mouth and squeeze the tube and then take it out again. Um, it's better if you have rinsed their mouth out or made sure they haven't eaten in a bit before so that the um, wormer doesn't all get stuck on their food and spread out.